Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to this uh, quick how to. It's about performing search operations against database. Uh, in this example, we are going to use a table and uh, we will perform search according to one of its fields. Okay. So here, um, let me sh show you this. We have this sample database. Okay, it contains country list their IDs, states and for each country and um, we have uh, a person okay what I'm uh, gonna do is uh, perform a search operation against the person name and from that I will be able to see the state ID the person ID okay so we have this database and let's go to the project here okay so obviously first thing to do is of course adding a data source so we're going to use a database uh, we're going to use a new connection browse go to the where the database is open test the connection ok ok and press next I'm going to include the database my project I'm going to press next and I want include all three tables here and finish okay so uh, now there are actually uh, two ways to perform search operations okay our first method here uh, will be as follows I'm gonna search for the person here so I'm gonna drag this and drop it as a data grid view okay the control type here doesn't matter okay this is just for illustration okay now if we run this for now just for test okay so there we go uh, we have this table now we're gonna add a field that allows us to search uh, based on the person name so let's do that how do we do it obviously we need control that will allow us to do that so uh, to enter some kind of text so let's go down here uh, we're gonna need a label a text box and a button okay so this one and this will be the search button I'm gonna just change its title to search S-E-A-R-C-H okay this search and this would be a name okay whatever okay so this is text box 1 I'm gonna double click this one now uh, to do a search it's very easy actually here the the test db data set dot person this returns the table all I have to do is to filter out the result of the person table this is done very easily using the search method so all I'm gonna have to do is uh, fold the control which will be um, person data grid view this is the name of the data grid view dot data source equals all I have to do is this one uh, it's gonna be me dot test tv data set dot person now so far this is exactly the name of the table that contains the data so there is no difference what I'm gonna add here is dot uh, select now this one performs a search operation and what I want to select is uh, okay so now I have to remember the name of the column I am searching here and actually I didn't focus much on the name of the column it's the person name yeah so here 
person name equal and uh, this should be what text box one text box one dot text okay uh, the problem with this one is that the person name should be an exact match so I'm gonna change this into like which is better and this is it okay so this will allow us to perform a search operation so let's run this application okay so I'm gonna search for G percentage anyone who starts with G and this is Jeff I'm gonna search for everyone I'm getting them all anyone who ends with M so we got Tom and Tim so as you can see it's very easy to specify which column to search uh, I can add another search now you know, okay so what am I gonna do is instead of specifying the name I'm gonna specify the column so okay I know this doesn't look professional but of course it's just an interface the what matters here is the code itself so let me see where the option 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 where did it go sorry this is video button okay two and three so uh, this one will allow me to select which column so person ID person ID second one will be what is gonna be state ID and the last one it will be person name okay so now I have to remember this one's radio button 1 this one's radio button 2 this one's radio button 3 now the search code is gonna be a little bit different it will be a number of if statement if radio button 1 dot is uh, sorry sell uh, wait dot checked then uh, if it is checked in that case I will need uh, to perform uh, the name of the column is person ID here ID equals okay because there's a number else if radio button 2 the checked then this is going to be similar the name of the column is what state ID else if radio button 3 dot checked then Uh, this would be person name like okay so this is it um, now all I have to do is just run the code okay okay so now I'm gonna select the person name here and select anyone containing uh, all and their names perform a search we have to now I'm gonna select the person with person ID 4 this is 4 person ID search okay and anyone who's in this state ID, uh, those ID is 10 perform a search oh we have just one person let me put two no put one okay we have a smith 
anyway so you can see we can do um, a search operation based on uh, based on any of the columns available now one last thing is that how do I cancel my search and see the result well uh, this is actually very easy all you have to do is just reassign the value of the table so here cancel search okay so the code here is gonna be like this I'll remove the select part this will return the whole table okay um, this is it now I'm gonna just explain this line of code which, con which, which does all the work or the hard work what happens here uh, all this part will return the person table the select command will execute a select statement uh, and here we are just specifying the where part so here I am performing select star from person where state ID which is this one equals what's in the text box or any other uh, where part this is it so um, uh, this is the last test so whatever I got nothing I press this one and I get everything back so uh, this is the first method and it's the easiest uh, I guess for the second method uh, which is uh, changing the data adapter uh, it will be a little bit more advanced maybe I should put that in the next tutorial okay so uh, watch out for that and uh, hope you'll find this useful if you have uh, any other question uh, send them to me I'll be happy to answer them um, so that will be all so have a nice day and sorry for not posting tutorials as often as before I'm being too busy okay bye bye